Hello and welcome back to OpenTTD, where we are joining our little transport company. There has been a little bit of a reorganization in the transport business because what I've been doing in your absence is to sort this company up into two branch companies. So we have the classical Rail Baltica company, which is headquartered, of course, in here in uh, Helsinki. And we have the Imperial Railway Company, which is a subsidiary of ours. And it's located here in St. Petersburg, here in this uh, capital of the empire. Um, and uh, it has so far been administered under the guidance of Mr. Um, Durak. And um, yeah, he will be stepping down from this management because he has taken up some new responsibilities in the Imperial government as the head of the railway operation overseeing all railway operations in the empire and uh, we will be getting back control of the company to a Mr. Um, um, Adolf Irvin Ivan Adolf Irvin Advinson which will be the new face of our company and indeed we will give him a new face so let's take a look at that um, that already seems quite nice yes Mm -hmm. And maybe a shirt in the company colors. Is there a green shirt? No, there is not. Can we get a jacket maybe in the in the company colors? Yes, we can. Okay. Well, that's gray. That's not green, is it? Well, I guess it's close enough. All right, Mr. Um, Ar Arvidsson is going to take over the operation and we're gonna take um, the first opportunity to redo one of our main intersections here, which we can see here is definitely not the most effective, I would say. So let me think about this. So we have one thing is like this loop here. So, so this loop here is a primary thing. Then we have also this here, which is also a big problem actually. And wow, there is so much stuff here needed to be transported to the, to the city center. Helsinki transfer mainly I suppose we can quickly do that there's no no road here is there you can see I, I mirrored the same thing here so when we look at the Rail Baltica if the Espo to Helsinki overland mail um, that's direct route to Espo right that goes from the Baltica station to transfer to east. It's really weird, like Helsinki. That's like not to Espo though. Hmm, why did I sort it in here like that? Is it different route? Yeah. I guess I sort them in together because this is more of a different one. So this one is that and this one is this so this one we already have one yeah and this one we just want to clone okay so yeah so i think there's a few things we can do we can also optimize this but it's with a bit less priority. Maybe this one should be first because we can already see that this is a nightmare. Huh. So we have one loop, one direct connection and another direct connection. And uh, we kind of want to join them up all on this, this main line. So probably the first order of business is to move that main line further up north, I guess, to give us a little bit more, more room for operation. And I'm thinking whether to do a tunnel here, of course, you can already guess it. Mm -hmm. So if I did a tunnel, let me just double check that. So we could come out here. That's perfectly fine, actually. Okay, then we'll do that. Yeah, we have to do a little bit of 
moving moving dirt around to facilitate this, but it is how it is sometimes. So here we have some join that I would love to keep ideally, so it would be nice if you could come in something like that. Yeah, that would be nice. And then we want to join onto that main line with an effective join, which would be something like this, but I might build underground again with a few tunnels and then here we come out two 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 I think that's even a little bit tight considering the length of the the trains but We'll start with this, Let's see where it goes. So this is our heart, heart junction here. Um, and then here we can join in basically. So then we have to merge these two lines. That's one issue. Look at this mess. What a mess. That's why we're doing this by the way. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's no way around uh, doing this with a little bit of a <laughs> operation here. So, yeah, like this one we can keep, but I mean, this one we could keep for now, I mean. Or we're gonna join all three of them together. It's an interesting idea as well. I mean, the passenger one is the least worrying for me. So we'll just keep the passenger one here for now, maybe just quickly do this one first. Okay, let me just fast forward here to see that we sort this out. Okay, so we're gonna terminate here the entrance to this whole mess. And after these trains here, we're also gonna do that here. Well, actually here would be the better way to terminate it. Okay, and then quickly let's do a little bit of fast forwarding here. Oh, this one cheated, you saw it? <laughs> it just went on the other side. That's clever, I like it. Okay, there's also a little bit of a weird situation where they're double using some tracks and whatnot. Ugh, what a mess. No, you don't. I know that will kind of piss this one off. Okay, get out of the way. Like this. Yeah, no, 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 you're not gonna reserve that track. That track is not available. Okay. So now reconstructing a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, 
big project, but sometimes you have to do to do big projects like this. So we have kind of a two ray here and we have a two ray there. So I kind of want to just join them up. But to join them up, I think the most effective way would be to make it an effective join, which includes here, again, some tunnel operations to get the left side onto the left side. And that. And then this one would be joining here. That would be great. And that would join here. And that gives us a really nice operation here. And now we want to join these two up. And um, I'm feeling we can just double down on this concept here. Something like that, maybe. So then here, then this one there. Okay, that one's also okay. And this one is also okay. Then here a few. Here one. So let me think, this one, is that one going on the right side? Because usually we're going left side, yeah, left side, then this one there, means it's coming from this direction, that's also correct. So it needs to be on the outside, always. Okay, I think we're doing fine here actually. Let's see again. Yeah, I'm hopeful that that should be Pretty effective. Let's see. I think that should be fine. Cool. Um, then let's see um, what else we wanted to do. Um, the Helsinki Baltica station here. Now, this is, of course, a little bit bad because it's kind of like boxed in here through these hills so it would be nicer if it came in from the top side here some way um, I think probably it's more smart here to be honest to probably either we put the we could put the railway elevated like it's not advantageous usually to do that but in this case maybe it's 
necessary. To route it a little bit more on a panorama kind of route. I don't want to flatten such a huge amount of land, that's why I'm thinking about elevating it up. And then we can kind of use that here near that hill and then join it back in here as to the original way. Yeah. Then when it comes to this joint here, then we have to rethink that one. But since there's no train currently here, I will just take the liberty to already dismantle that. place a few new signals okay come on good and here so here is our first uh, train that wanted to come in here so I guess like the entrance here is going to be again like an X because this is kind of a terminal station and then I guess it will come up there, but maybe we will make it a little bit different and we'll do some tunneling here. Uh, hmm. Am I certain of that? I'm not sure. I think it would be more advantageous to not do so much disruption of the environment here. <laughs> I say after it's already disrupted, but of course, uh, you know, hindsight. Uh, yeah, I think it would be more advantageous to build like just some bridges up here. So this will be our standard thing, more or less, I guess. Yeah. Here it would be beautiful if you could just come down there a little bit. So we do a little bit of earth working there. That's not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to connect more like this. Yeah. And then, yeah, here, we'll do a little bit of a tighter radius. Oop. Okay, for symmetry reasons, we'll just do it similarly big. Okay, looks a little bit dissimilar because of that stuff. Of course, we could make that different, but that would require a little bit of adjustment here. I don't feel comfortable with that. So it is as it is, and it isn't what it isn't. Okay, so here on the inner, and here we already said that it would be on the outer, I think. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. more or less, that should work. Let's just fast forward a tiny bit, see what comes in here. Okay. Somehow the Baltica tunnel was blocked by that. I don't know. 
there's signals inside of it, so this is uh, interesting. Okay, when's the first passenger train coming? Is that one? Yeah, that should be one. That is the, the Baltica Express. It's climbing up Ooh, and making its way in with a little bit of a push. Nice. Oh, it's unloading a huge amount of people here and passengers and all that stuff. Lots of people. All right, but that's fine. So let's just see. Um, our predecessor also left us in a little bit of a indentured uh, state. But we can repay that loan with no problem. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, I think it would be nice if we gave um, Helsinki a few options to to grow still. So maybe when we're at it here, we will just build a bridge here. Maybe the viaduct looks the best, even though it bothers me a little bit. So, okay, we'll just build a new settlement area here for the city to grow into, and we'll also expand the city to that area here okay then let's take a look at Helsinki 53 days growth that's great what's missing it's probably still a bit so other cities are definitely growing a lot faster so probably it's about transportation mostly Wow, huge settlements here An outstanding reputation that's to be expected building a statue of our company owner let's do it I forgot what that does actually <laughs> gives us some bonus right provides a permanent boost to station rating okay yeah station rating is actually I think the main main issue uh, because here it will not be very good because we are not transporting all the bags here fast enough. We're trying. I mean, actually one thing is like they cannot turn around so they go the long way. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, I think so. So but if you build like a turnaround loop like directly after this, it would benefit them if they could go like this watch that I will see like some people using it in a second I foresee it see now they can turn around to Helsinki transfer much faster and here they probably also have to take like a route like all the way down here or something let me just check that uh, let's see this one this one is not the east one this one's also not one of them it's also not Okay, this one let's take a look where it goes around in Helsinki transfer like how does it make the route back so we're improving the efficiency here I think if we're building also there some loop probably okay so it goes down here goes all the way there and then back up there okay actually to be honest this is not that much more that's not much less effective than than any other way but here i think it was a big upgrade because they think before they had to go like all the way to espo basically that's definitely a huge huge uh, downgrade okay assuming we are solving this issue maybe um then let's quickly actually consider one more thing which is that 
this is a little bit stupidly constructed and it would be nicer if it was like this because you know it we want to build a bridge nice okay yeah i think this is a nice little uh, first thing for our new company leader to have accomplished uh, this new loop so thanks for for joining him on this adventure and see you next time to see what what happens next take care